Imagine the day when you have finally made a vaccine and you were the one who has eradicated corona and healed the world. You're being titled on the headlines of the media and your fame hits up the peaks. Hey, but stop there. Before you start floating in your dreams, let's know is it really possible for you to do that by knowing how the new mRNA vaccines are being prepared. Before getting into the topic, let's know how the vaccines work. Actually, when you get infected with a virus, it begins taking over your cells machinery in order to make copies of itself. But these eventually trigger an immune response. Your body begins creating special cells like macrophages, B cells, T cells that not only try and destroy the virus but also store information about it, like how it looks, the living conditions and the best way to defeat it. This will help your body to get prepared to kill the virus when it attacks the next time. But the body takes a lot of time to do all of these. So if the virus gets enough of head start or attacks a person with compromised immune system, it can gain an upper hand and this may lead to illness or death. This is where the vaccines come into use. There are many different types of vaccines, but the goal of them all is to train your immune system before getting infected. Most vaccines work by injecting weakened viruses into your bloodstream which wouldn't harm your body. As soon as the vaccine enters your body, the antibodies react as if it's the real virus and triggers the memory cells. That way, when your body is invaded with a real virus, it has an advantage because it knows how to take down the invader. But this type of vaccine with weakened or dead virus would take a few years and wouldn't prepare your immune system to fight against the evolved or mutated versions of corona. Thanks to the scientific advancements that have brought us the mRNA vaccines, which is perhaps the most promising techniques of vaccination. These vaccines inject RNA, that is the ribonucleic acid. RNA is a substance in which genetic code of virus is stored, just like DNA which stores human genetic information. You might be thinking, how do they even extract RNA? For this, a method named Trisol extraction is used. In this process, a compound named phenol chloroform is mixed with a sample of coronavirus. Then the solution is made to spin around in a centrifuge. This helps the heavier substances to settle at the bottom. RNA, being highly unstable, gets degraded easily. And to stop this degradation, a compound named GITC is used. If the pH of the solution is 4, in simple non-scientific terms, it means that if the solution is as acidic as a lemon, then the RNA floats at the top of the solution. And ultimately, after processing it, you can use it for vaccine. So now we have our most important question. Can you make the vaccine at home? Firstly, it's really risky to use a virus like Corona, which is only being tested in virology labs with level 4 safety. Secondly, RNA being highly unstable, it reacts with almost every substance in your surroundings and decays itself. So there are very less chances for you to get the unreacted RNA. And for many such reasons, you can't prepare a vaccine at home. Moving into the final conclusion, I have uploaded this video for the core reason that there are many people who are unaware of the facts and stay disrespectful towards our doctors and scientists who are bringing their life to death. They should be held in high esteem and let us give them enough time to bring us back to our normal lives. Until then, stay home and stay safe.